So hi everyone, this is Paul from the Outdoor Adventure. We're going to try out something new. We're going to do a bit of fishing with my dad and uh, this is our first inaugural talk on the dock. If you like it, let us know and uh, we'll try to record a couple more sessions. Well, I, I was one of these um, babies that was born in the tail end of World War II. And so the first few years after the war were, were quite tight for most people. You know, hundreds of thousands of men were demobilized. Um, that's a good fish got there. He's good. Oh. Oh, yeah, got one already. Um, <laughs> were demobilized with not much work, and so there was a post war kind of a recession. So it wasn't very much for people to do, but. Uh, what do you got here? Uh. One thing people could do. Squawfish? Yep. Yeah, was yeah. fishing. Um, in fact, at one time they were saying, I remember in the 50s or so, they said that more people would go fishing than actually would go to support soccer games, which of course was the <laughs> major sport really? in Britain. And so uh, anytime there was a stream or a pond or a lake, even artificial lake and ornamental lakes, there were people who would be fishing. And I remember my very first fishing session was when I was eight or nine and I was going shopping with my mother. Of course, nobody had vehicles at that time. Everybody walked everywhere. And as we were walking down the street, uh, we met my, my cousin, who was about five years my senior. And he had his... Uh, his cane fishing rod in his bag and we asked where he was going and he was going down to the local park. In fact it was Finsbury Park which is a, a sort of one of those Victorian parks in North London. And uh, he, he said, he said oh, I'd like to go. Well I, my mum gave permission so I was terribly excited to, to go down with my, my older relative to, to do this. So after about a you know, mile walk or more we came into the park and it was uh, one of these sort of ornamental parks insofar as the, the the edges of the lake were all manicured there was a sort of a, a brick or stone edging all the way around the lake a couple of islands there were rowboats that you could hire uh, the, the, yours, the ubiquitous swans were always there of course paddling around getting in everybody's way <laughs> and um, with little iron hoops along the edge of the green edge that um, separated the pathway from the lake and you weren't supposed to trespass in that meter of land between the, the pathway and the lake. And there were all the men standing around in their raincoats and their hats. Um, of course, everybody had wore raincoats in Britain because it was always raining, even in the summertime. And so uh, my, my cousin set up his fishing gear, a very simple cane rod with thread this line through the rings and put on a float and a hook and worm, I suppose, and out he cast. And all he had for me was just a hand line, just a reel with. Uh, same setup, float and some lead shot and some... So no rod for you? No rod for me. <laughs> so I felt a bit embarrassed actually because I would have to sort of swing this thing around and throw it out into the lake and of course within a couple of minutes it drifted right into the edge. So anyway, people are very kind of uh, long-suffering and, and encouraging to me. Well, lo and behold, after a few minutes my float started to bob and under it went and I hooked into a little fish... Video. A fish called a roach are very common in Britain. And out it came flopping on the bank. Well, the fish was hooked and I was hooked. 